Matthew Riddle makes his return here to the MFPW arena, as you heard Stuart Campbell mention. One half of the KPW Tag Team Champions, along with the heavyweight champion of the MFPW, one Punisher Martinez. Also a former heavyweight champion here in the MFPW. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be, what, what is this? Danny Cage makes his way back out again. Let's see what he has to say. I like enough. Let's go up to the Excuse commissioner. Me, Matthew. Relax. I don't want to sign your checks. Take a walk. Hello. This should be interesting announcement. I'm sick and tired of seeing matches end with interference with people that don't belong. You belong, your manager, believe it or not. You, you're gone. Oh, there you the go. Oh, excellent, excellent. Finally, we get a one on one without this crew. These stooges. These cronies hanging around ringside. It's one on one. And really, Stuart Campbell, that's the way it ought to be. Absolutely. Just a contest between two big, strong men. And uh, Camarado. Certainly. Out of here. Certainly isn't happy that he can't <clears throat> play his part, but. Very vocal is the evil panda himself. Fala Ba, this is going to be an outstanding matchup. Absolutely. Steve Chaz calling for the bell, and Ba and Riddle staring each other down. Of course, we know Matthew Riddle very well from his, uh, from his endeavors in UFC from his time here at the MFPW, Certainly. even serving as its heavyweight champion mm -hmm. for a pretty decent time period. But well, he sounds like he means business. Now we're going to see maybe when the uh, if and when they ever lock up here, we're going to see uh, we're going to see how well Matthew Riddle can handle this behemoth. This 500 again? pound behemoth known as Fala Ba, hailing from the Philippines, and of course uh, he debuted a couple years back in. Uh, in 2005. Yeah, but he's coming up on his 11th year. I mentioned that earlier while you're up in the ring, and he's got a lot of experience behind him. Wow, and he just throws Riddle to the canvas. He's got plenty of experience, but sometimes even those experience need uh, need a little bit of managing. And he was discovered by Rico de la Vega in, a, in a, his quest to find the biggest, wildest beasts in professional wrestling. And he has assembled his cartel of beasts, and certainly not least among them is the Filipino psychopath, Falaba. Wow. You talk about size and power personified. You got it right here with Falaba. It's, it's going to be interesting to see the strategy that Matt Riddle employs to try to get this big fellow off his feet. Well, now, if anyone can do it, it's him. No doubt about it. As you mentioned, a prominent member of the Beast Cartel, they finally get a collar and elbow in the middle of the ring, shoves him down. Right back at him. Oh, that kick right to the chest. A second one. And you can hear it ringing throughout the MMPW arena. Oh, and again. I think they could hear that in West Deptford. Are you kidding me? No. I can tell you for sure. There you go. Irish whip, no, reversed. Oh, right over. Try to scoop him up for the pin. And another Savant kick right to the chest. Make it three. Matthew Riddle, certainly no slouch with grappling, but he was known in his fighting Ooh. days and certainly in his days here at the MFP. Oh, look at this. Evolve. This is a submission hold. He's got him in that front face lock. Punishing strikes, and he certainly stepped his uh, his submission and uh, and hold game up as well. As the beautiful, beautiful headlock. Falaba now plants Riddle up on the top turnbuckle, and Steve Chaz laying the count on him. I don't know if he's going to respond to it, but I... Nah. I was gonna say he backed away cleanly, but highly unlikely that was for real. And now, a couple kicks to the feet right to the face. Oh, man! Wow. But it's Riddle who's on the canvas. And yes, Falaba got his bell rung, as you can see, but it's Riddle who's on the canvas, and Falaba who's standing. Unbelievable. One thing that's easy to forget is when you're causing a 400-pound man to fall, 500-pound, excuse me, when you're calling a man of that size to fall, that weight is coming right along with you if you're taking him down. And that is something that Matthew Riddle, unfortunately, got to uh, experience firsthand. No doubt about it. Is now the 
Humongous, close to 400 pound behemoth now with a nerve hold. It's got to hold that trapezius muscle. I remember, God rest her soul, when my mom wanted to get my attention, she'd grab a hold of that trapezius muscle. Now to get your attention real quick. As yeah. now you see, he's got those fingers buried into the trapezius muscle of one Matthew Riddle who's struggling to get to his feet, elbows to the midsection. The well, ample midsection, I might add. Miss with that right hand. Oh, and a big splash. Well, imagine if your mom were 500 pounds Filipino and very, very angry. Oh, oh man, that was close. That was close. Almost thought. Falaba, who obviously showing the three count. Obviously, he's, he obviously disagrees with referee Steve Chaz. And Matthew Riddle certainly showing the wear and tear of uh, of Falaba's offense upon himself, but Falaba still has to do just a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, open and hand a, slaps right to the midsection. That's a decent start, I'd say. High oh. Beal out of the corner. Now it's Matthew Riddle in trouble. Now Falaba could be looking to put it away here. This is he's measuring him. Holy moly! Well, that'll that, this could be it. Good night, Pauls, bro. Oh, he kicked out. No. He shot that shoulder right off the canvas. Two and 16, 17. It's not over for Riddle yet. Ooh. How is he still he, conscious? I, I don't I don't know, and I don't really know if you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Matthew Riddle. Oh! Battle not two barefooted wrestlers here. Certainly not a not a common sight to see anymore, but Oh! Reverse knife edge chops, open hand slaps. Smart by Riddle. Oh yeah. Take the attention away from somewhere else. Miss with that right hand. Oh! Spinning kick to the back of the cranium. That knocked man knocked him out. Jury, you could say. Yes, it was. He is going up to the top. Oh, what are we going to see man. here? This is dangerous. Holy moly, a senton bomb. This could be it. No, he kicked out. Wow. Boy, he took flight on that one, didn't he? Matthew Riddle pulling out all the stops to put Falaba away was not quite enough. And now Matthew Riddle somehow, some way, is going to have to dig even deeper to put the man away. He's playing it up here. Here we go, into the corner. Running knee right to the face. Beautiful double knee strike. Oh, he caught him. Oh, man, he powered him over. Belly to back suplex. He rolls him over. Just slightly. Wait. Oh, and he kicked. He just, actually, he didn't really kick out. He just rolled his shoulder up. You got to realize, you got 399 pounds laying on your chest, but he still had the strength to roll that shoulder over to kick out. Absolutely. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Uh, Stuart is. Campbell. Oh, goodness gracious. No, no. I recall seeing this back in 1993 from a fella named Yokozuna. Oh, he missed the bonsai drop. This is Riddle's opening. It's now or never. Boom! Knee right to the chin. He may have knocked him out. He did. It's over. That knocks anyone out anytime. Let's get the word. Here is your winner, the Riddle. What an impressive victory for Matthew Riddle as he puts down the behemoth Falaba here in the MFPW arena. It was not easy for Matthew Riddle, but that knee with that force from that young man can put away anyone at any time. And certainly, when his future opponents are going to look at what his weaknesses are and what to look out for, that knee strike, the striking prowess of Matt Riddle is certainly going to be on their list of things for which to avoid. Couldn't have said it better myself. What an impressive victory by Matthew Riddle of the Real Life Hills. And